Hey guys, I'm guessing a lot of people who have these solar generators use them in a car camper or van camper or some sort of vehicle that has 12 volt. I just wanted to show you my way of keeping it fully charged while traveling. To charge this thing, we need anywhere from 12 to 24 volts. Most car charging systems work around 14 volts and most solar panels are 20 to 25. When I'm driving, I want it charging off of the car's charging system. Whenever the car is parked, I want my rooftop solar panel to charge this. Since I don't want this thing permanently mounted in the car, I'm going to use a four wire connector so I can remove it easily. This part will be mounted into the car. I have positive negative coming in from my solar and positive negative coming in from the car's charging system. My car only has a 60 watt solar panel, but I still want to use a circuit breaker for the input. Next thing I need is a five pin relay. When there's no power to the trigger, one of the switches will be on. That's the one I'll use for solar. When power goes to the trigger from the car's ignition, the second switch will be turned on. That's the one I'll use for charging off the car's system. Here it is all put together. Just a few pieces of VHB tape have the circuit breaker stuck on there pretty good, the relay on there pretty well, the wire's all clear, my shelf and the camper. I've also left enough room right here to plug in an actual charging cord. And I usually just leave this hanging out the back of the camper if for some reason I find myself in a campsite with electricity.